me double check that we are live. Yep, look at the big rabbit hole. It says we're live, but there's a spinning wheel of death over here in the corner, and we are live. Okay, so um, my name is Katani. Um, you guys know me on here because I do a lot of lives um, of when we get microscopic tests done. Um, today I'm using a microphone, so hopefully that's sounding good for you. Let me just double check that we're good. I just don't trust it. Okay, we are. Okay, so today we are doing a live run through of our online demotics mites population quiz slash test. Um, I hope the microphone's sounding okay. So I guess you could comment live if it's not. Um, but yeah, so right now we're on the main um, landing page of our website and essentially we've got all these different um, languages that you can choose. So if you speak English but you prefer a different language, go ahead and click whichever one applies to you. I'm going to click English because I'm not as talented as a lot of you out there who can speak two languages. So now we're here, I mean, I could do a quick little um, run through of the website itself because I've used this website quite a bit. We have our products, we have everything that you could possibly need here. Um, a little list of symptoms that are really common for people who have a demotic mite overpopulation. So here we are, so this is the home page. The quiz that we'll take together, which I have not done myself yet, <laughs> is here. But we've got our products, all of our bundles, um, the individual products that we have here and a little bit of information about them. So I might click on one. Let's see. Wonderful. So here we've got some information about it. I know I was meant to come on here and do the test, but now I'm excited to just go through the website. Um, because why not? <laughs> um, so this is one of our products here. It's got all of the information you could possibly need. Um, we've also just thought that I would show some people because I'm not sh I think we've had some questions come in about um, currencies. So you just click on that one and then you have access to all of these. So no more fear. Katani is here to show you. Um, we have an overview here. I mean, I know you guys can read. <laughs> um, so we've got everything you need to know. The protocol is very important. Um, when you purchase some of our products, you'll get a user guide and that user guide will go through all of this um, And it's also here Something I learned recently is you can actually get the user guide down here somewhere as well right here. Oh no <laughs> Can somebody teach me how to computer please Anyway, this is the user guide. So there is a lot of different resources available to you especially if you've bought our products and want to make sure that you are using it correctly. Anyway, let's continue on. We've got some testimonial, no, testimonials and some customer pictures and things like that. Very interesting to look at if you are researching demotics and if you um, have suspicions that maybe you are a victim of them too. There's a lot of people who share your experience so having a look at this or even our Facebook page, it's a really good way to see other people like yourself. Um, one of my favorite parts of the website is the blog. Um, I've been doing a little bit of work on this, helping um, out our copywriter. Um, and there's a lot of really, really good information here. Um, and it's, it really does cover a, an array of um, things that the demotics might can influence um, so here, you know, there's a couple things, blepharitis, um, let's see if I can pronounce this, seboric dermatitis cause dandruff, really interesting. And then um, at the top here, we had our 10th anniversary recently. So well done to everybody who got onto that deal. I am very proud of you. So there's that. Um, and here's some quick links to popular topics um, that you can go to for some information. You've got a little bit about Unjex. Here's our founder. 
and inventor, Syed. There he is, looking chillaxed and amazing. <laughs> um, we got to put our pictures up here. I'll put a big picture of myself. <laughs> so yeah, and everything else is pretty self-explanatory. You've got your stuff over here. Um, we've got a button here that goes to the quiz, and you can always click here as well. So I'm going to click there. And now let's do this test. I hope that that was at all useful for some people. I can do um, walkthroughs for whatever it is that you guys would like visual help with. Because I am a visual person, so I understand what that is like. Okay, let's go. Here you can see a little diagram. <clears throat> let's see if I can zoom in. No, I can't. Um, so we're going to see my result in five minutes. Oh, man. I hope that I'm not the most demonic um, infested human being that you guys have ever seen, but we will see. Um, so here's actually a really good diagram about where demonics live. Um, this is the sebaceous gland here, this little yellow guy, um, and that's where all of our healthy skin oil is created. Um, you know, a bunch of other scientific words for skin here. <laughs> and this here, these things that you can see with the hair coming out is the hair follicle. And that is the main base where demotics like to live, especially demotics brevis and demotics folliculorum, uh, which are the two types of demotics mites found in humans. Um, so they hang out, live, breed, grow inside the um, hair follicle here. And they will come out when it's dark because they don't like UV light. They'll come out and they will do what animals do um, on the Discovery Channel. They'll do all of that, see each other, mate, all of that sort of stuff on the skin surface, away from UV light, and then they return into the hair follicle and live and go through their life cycle. Anyway, I'll move on, but if you want more information about their life cycle, you can go to the blog, you can type in here, and you can learn more. Let's go. Ah, what name should I be? I am going to write Luke Skywalker because I don't know, I just I feel like it. Now let's see. My name is Luke and what am I experiencing? Now it's a really common one that everybody experiences that I've spoken to, nearly everybody, is rosacea. I could go into a lot of these, but I probably won't because I've already been live for a little bit. Um, so let's just click a couple. <sighs> let's have a look. I'm going to say itching. That's another really common one that I've um, seen and heard from with uh, customers that we speak to. Crawling sensations is really common. Um, a lot lately I've been hearing about hair loss. And that's, you know, that would be the work of the demotics follicularum <laughs> um, because they typically live on the head and scalp. Uh, whereas, let's see if there's something else. Um, the b issues that typically affect the body are from Demotics Brevis. So let's just click a couple more and let's keep going. Okay. Now, let me, I'll start reading these out. Does anyone in the same household have any of the above symptoms? Let's just say that you have a partner and maybe they are. I'm going to click yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> How would you describe your skin? Now, I'll be honest here. I typically have dry skin, but it can get oily. So let's see. Um, was oily, now dry. Yeah, that's actually pretty accurate for my personal skin. Let's click that. What type of products do you use on your skin? Oh. You guys, I'm going to answer truthfully here. I use mascara. Uh, not super often. I'll condition my hair when I have to. Um, I do use moisturizer all the time. And I use <laughs> a lot of makeup. So let's click that and keep going. What kind of products do you use on your skin and scalp? I actually do use natural. Well, at least the bottle says natural. Um... I'm going to assume it's not because a lot of the time products that are commercial like to say that, but they're not. So I'm going to click chemical. 
what is the usual water temperature when you shower? For me, I'm a, a crazy person. I love hot showers, not just warm, but hot. So that's me. When do you usually use face cleansers? I, when I do use a, oh man, I just don't have consistency in my life. <laughs> I'm going to say anytime. When do I use shampoos? I would say mostly, you know, any time of the day. Let's do that. How often do you usually use shampoos? Okay, for me, I might say three to four times a week. Yeah, let's go that. How long have you been going through these issues? So my theoretical person that I've used half real answers and half um, just to show you, I'm going to say that they've been going through these issues for about six months. Oh man, let me answer truthfully here because I am, so I don't know if other people are night owls like myself, but I am trying to sleep at these times, but I end up sleeping these times. So I'm going to click 11.30 um, p.m. to 1 a.m. Okay, how many hours of sleep do you get on average a night? Oh, should I answer truthfully, everybody? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to click seven. You know, that's like a lukewarm truth. What is your daily stress level? Well, you know, I guess I could go for a middle just to keep this run through test somewhat, ooh, somewhat accurate for people. But let's say some people work full time or they have families. It might be a little higher than what they would hope. So let's click that. Okay, mental health. Something I've noticed with people when they do this quiz is due to the demotic smite itself, it causes them quite a lot of anxiety and stress, even depression. So I might say poor to kind of represent them and how they feel, you know? Oh my God. <laughs> okay, how many of you guys would answer truthfully on this one? I will answer. It's literally this, but because I walk to work, <laughs> I'm going to say this. <laughs> Please don't judge me. What is your age group? Okay, how old am I? I'm here. I am clicking here. Rate your immune system over the past two years. Um, I'm a pretty lucky person. I would say mine is on the upper end. I have been speaking to people who have... Um, Comp uh, I don't even know what the word is, like they're immune suppressed or immune compromised. And if you are, you know, you can click one of these here. For now, I might just say good. Do you regularly use medication? Well, personally, I do, but it's not like for physical things. So um, I don't know. Let's just say always. Why not? Rate the quality of your health in general. I'm going to say I don't have chronic issues. I'm not in poor health, but I'm probably not up in excellent. So I'm going to say good. What best describes your diet? Now, we all wish that we were this, but most of us are probably this. <laughs> um, let's see. You know what? I don't eat highly processed. I'm going to click that one. <clears throat> Do you practice any of these habits regularly? I laugh all the time. That is thanks to um, one of our customer care consultants, Emma, which um, some of you would know. She helps me in this department, so that is good. Now, I dance all the time. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm going to click some other ones. I don't do yoga. I'm going to click these. And I guess other good habits. Let's not make this person too bad. Let's keep going. Um, what best describes your employment? I will answer truthfully. Let me have a look. I'm not a student or unemployed anymore. Stay at home parent or retired. Morning to afternoon shift. I'm going to click this one. This is true to me. All right. I don't know what email address. Do I still get my results? Um, let's have a look. Rep at home chat. There we are. You guys can contact me. 
um, at this address if you want to have a chat. Um, also, you can add me um, on Tani James, which should be linked on this live. You can add me, talk to me, I'm here for you, uh, or this email here. So, oh goodness, can I skip my number? <laughs> I don't know, I need to find it. Hold on. You guys just have to bear with me a hot second. All right, let's go. Oh, I'm not American. I love America, but I'm not American. Let's go Australia. Uh -huh. So this one is my work number. I mean, I don't use it a lot. I'm, all, I'm mostly online, but if you did need to contact me, that's another way you could. <laughs> Oh no, you guys, I'm in the very high category. So your results indicate that you suffer from a very high density of demotic mites and are in extreme discomfort. Remember earlier in the quiz, I did click a bunch of symptoms that I personally don't experience, but if someone were to experience it, they would be in, in extreme discomfort. It is a strong indication that it's time to take action and take back control of your skin. Active treatment is a recommended minimum of three to four months, as once populations are at a high density, the body's internal healing mechanisms are not enough to reduce mites, mite numbers alone. We recommend the Unjex bundles to best suit your needs. Awesome. So that was the test. Then we click through and you'll get some recommendations. See, we've got a color coding system here. And then you get a little FAQ section as well. And then down below, we've got some products. So if you're suffering uh, extreme, let's have a look what the word was. Just uh, there's very high and then there is infestation case. So it's a dangerous population density. So say you are somebody who is experiencing that. It might be worth investing in your health and in yourself um, and purchasing one of these and they can last up to three months and sometimes longer um, you have the choice to opt in for this which is the HFI instrument if you click it you'll be able to see sorry this is a pretty long live for me I hope you guys are enjoying it okay if you go into it I think mm, you can see it over here it's loading here you go so say you did have a high um, population density and you needed these products you can come down and then you can choose if you want the HFI instrument or an extra bottle um, extra bottle would come packed in your um, delivery and it would just be included but the HFI instrument um, we have to get due to COVID we need to get it sourced and um, will take a little bit longer but anyways I won't if you guys want me to go through the website in more detail and doing it again, I can easily do that for you. Um, so let me know what you would like. Um, but yeah, that was that was today's life. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed Luke Skywalker's test. Um, and I will see you again next time. Bye bye, everybody.